course that's your contention. You're a first year grad student. <laughs> you just got finished reading some Marx and historian. <laughs> yep. Be Gerritsen, probably. You're going to be convinced of that until next month when you get to James Lemon talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. And that's going to last you until next year where you'll be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood talking about the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. <laughs> Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. Yeah, you got that from Vickers, work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Uh, do you have any thoughts of your own on this matter? <laughs> or, or is that your thing? You, you come into some bar, read some obscure passage, and try to pawn it off as your own idea? Just to impress some girls and embarrass my friend. See, the sad thing about a guy like you is that in about 50 years, you're going to start doing some thinking of your own. And you're going to come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. Well, one, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for $1.50 in late charges from the public library. <laughs> but if we're really going to have a problem, we can just uh, step outside.